Welcome to this special little clay therapy holiday edition. And what we're going to create today is I want to show you not only is this going to be a fun family activity, but this is going to be something that is going to help you think in a new way. And it's going to follow my concepts in clay therapy using creativity and the power of creativity to help you to express yourself and also help you to kind of overcome different obstacles that you may have going on. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to be creating a Christmas tree here and clay therapy, the way that I've designed it has three fun levels, depending on what you are going after. And step one is the F is always having fun. Don't worry about the outcome. Don't worry about it being perfect. It's all about the process and just enjoying the time. The you, if you want to go a little bit deeper, is taking some time to understand yourself, understanding, you know, what emotions that you find as a home base that you constantly go to. And if you need to improve that, some of the thoughts that are going in your head, some of the habits, good and bad. And then the N is a new you, basically taking the time to learn new things and to change some of your habits or your ways of thinking to improve yourself. And this, this process is going to affect everything if you want it to. So it's a mind, body, and soul exercise. The soul is the fun, the creativity, just having fun and just releasing everything. The Mind is, you know, understanding yourself, getting into a positive mindset and more open mindset. And then the body is actually taking action, putting in the reps and creating something and actually taking the time to put in what you learned and to become your very best self. So we're going to go in here. And as we're doing this, I'm going to show you not only how to do it and what we're creating, but we're going to go in a little bit deeper so that you can actually think about, you know, taking steps to get to the very top. All right. So let's zoom in. Starting with the Christmas tree, what we're going to do is let me wet this down. What I'm doing is I'm just wetting this board down just a little bit so that it'll stick on this incline. You guys can use a piece of wood, a paper plate, anything, any kind of surface. If you don't mind your table getting dirty, you can just go straight on there. Here I'm just using water-based clay. And here's what I'm, what I'm going to do is just start with what I would call is basically the stem of the tree. As we're creating this Christmas tree, this right here, is just going to be the stem and just focusing on this little piece here that this squared off piece at the bottom which is the stem that kind of stands up this here is your base everybody starts from somewhere we all when we're born we don't quite know how to crawl and we learn to crawl and then we learn to walk and then we learn to run or move depending on what our body allows us to do. You know, whether, whether that's get up and run, whether that is learning how to, how to move in a wheelchair or another accessible device, each one of us learns to grow and it all starts somewhere. And then we stack on and take steps as we keep learning and growing. And as we get to the top, what we're going to have is a star. So what I'm going to do is create a little star here. Chopping this out. All right. Let me point this a little bit at the top. And this is our star. 
Now, when you guys look at this, I want you guys to look at this and create your North Star. This is the goals. This is the thing that you're looking and pushing and trying to grow towards as you go on this journey. So whatever, whatever that is, make sure that you try to connect an emotional connection to it. Okay. So if you're trying to do like a fitness, if you're trying to lose a few pounds and you know, you're trying to go on a fitness journey, I want you to think about two women having goals. One woman is trying to lose about 15 pounds because she has this big, this big summer vacation planned up. She's going to the beach. She's going to be around and she's, she's just trying to, she's trying to look her best. Now I want you to think about this other woman who went to the park with her little girl. And after about five minutes, she had to kind of sit down and take a break. She was running around with her. She started getting out of breath and she had to take a seat. Think about how crushed inside she is knowing that she has to sit down and her little girl wants her to keep running around and playing. And the drive that's going to be in that, the emotional drive, there is nothing that is going to get in her way. Whereas the first woman, she has, she does have a goal and she does have a set goal of 15 pounds and that she will have a decent drive depending on her character type. However, think about the emotional pull that every single time that she, you know, something gets in her way or she has a bad day, the drive that's just going to keep her pushing forward and every obstacle that comes up, she's just going to be able to knock it out. So that's what I want you guys to think about and connecting something emotional to the goals that you have. So even if it isn't something as strong and powerful as that, just what is this going to do for your future? What is this going to do for your energy levels? And what are you going to be able to do with those energy levels? Or is it going to make do something that's going to make something happen better for your family or you're going to be in a better emotional state to where you're going to be happy and positive more often and which you'll be able to give that positivity to you the people that are around you so then what i'm going to do is we're going to create about three layers of the tree so I'm going to kind of take this clay and flatten it out like this. And I'm just going to kind of press it up against there, just like that. And then just kind of cut that off. Kind of smooth out the top here, depending on how big you want to make it. This is up to you. And we'll come back and do a little bit more. This is one step towards that goal. So if we're going towards the fitness level again, and just using that as an example, if you're trying to reach your North star, this right here, this ring, this row of, of leaves is leaves and bristles. This is you actually starting to go to the gym and starting to learn the movements, actually starting to learn the proper form. You don't have to lift too much. This is just you getting started. And what's going to happen is as you do that, you're going to start to, to really understand a little bit more, but also you're going to start to feel good because you're starting to accomplish something. This isn't you trying to start from nothing, go into the gym and, and being upset because you can't bench press a hundred pounds. This is you taking small little steps that are planned just for you. And then, let me actually move this over a little bit. We're going to do the same thing here. Adding on another level. Now, as you get better and you start to really grow in this journey, you're taking these steps 
this is you adding on weights. Instead of only being able to lift 10 pounds, you can now lift 20. Instead of only being able to do 10 push-ups, you can do 15. Every little step builds upon the last. So starting from the first day at the gym or not knowing anything about fitness to stepping up here and being able to, you know, start moving, start getting in the reps, start getting the proper form to being able to grow and lift more weights, do more reps. And then as we get to the top here, this last ring, this last section here is going to be this last section here is going to be you as you t start learning how to be healthier this is this could be nutrition this could be you making it a habit to move a lot more this is you becoming your very best self take this off and what I'm going to do is kind of bring this up to a point or more so of a point and all of these steps each one building upon the last is going to help you to reach your North Star of becoming the very best you for becoming that specific goal now after you create this the other thing that'll be fun to do is each one of these areas you can always add on little ornaments or little things that will help to create an image and to help you remember and think about special moments like I'm gonna keep going back to this just because the fitness one is an easy is an easy one let's say this is you starting out this is you getting your form put a couple ornaments on this row of specific moments and memories that you have of this was the first time I was able to pick up 25 pounds and I was just so excited and so proud of myself um, this is when I finally made that decision I did an ornament here to finally to symbolize the idea of finally taking the step to cut out sugar or to cut out something I shouldn't have been eating um, you know adding on different things this was I had a special moment with a trainer that corrected uh, my my posture for when I was doing squats and after that my, I could do a lot more my back wasn't hurting as much so creating something like that and adding those things on is going to be something that when you visually look at this it's going to bring back all of these memories and another thing you can do is create little gifts little presents or big presents to kind of put under the tree and by doing this these are things these are going to be presents and gifts that you have been given that maybe you didn't know came with your journey or didn't know or didn't expect you know presents are supposed to be surprises right so these are things that you got on this journey so going back to you know the example I was using this could be new friends or a new community that you met and you didn't expect and you never would have gotten if you didn't start going to that gym or start working out with that trainer and started doing things like that and you can create a bunch of these all different sizes and what's going to happen is again one of the other than this just being fun and creative and just enjoying it this is also going to be something that 
is going to can be a symbol to where when you look at it you just see your uh your achievement so this could be something this could be a replacement or another you know looking at a trophy and just thinking of wow i accomplished that but this could be i started here and i got to here or i got to here i'm still working my way up or i'm setting new goals so this is where i'm living right now so now that we kind of did all of that you can kind of play around with, you know, actually, let me grab something else. You know, really having fun with just creating this tree. Maybe using a few tools to kind of fray the edges. That way, it's not so, not so straight, not so rigid. However, if you like the stylized look of this, that's perfectly fine too. This is the part where. You just let go and see what is it that I can turn this into? What is it that, you know, how is it that I want this piece of mine to look? Okay. And again, like I said, you know, what if you wanted to do little ornaments? Little candy canes or big candy canes. Um you can also, I know trees also, depending on how you decorate, can also do like garland. You can do little worms of clay. And just kind of drape it over top. And then kind of Go in there and just make this this texture here. And I'm actually going to come in and play with this star just a little bit. Now, I know I used the example of fitness, but this can be anything so in a creative sense even with me and constantly trying to learn and grow right now i'm trying to get better at likenesses but in more of a stylized like a caricature style because personally my when i try to do caricatures right now i'm struggling with pushing it even farther than um, i have been you know, especially when you see the the big silly ones and what always kind of comes back to mind is kind of like the old Bugs Bunny cartoons and Chuck Jones. And, um, you know, and the squash and stretch that they have on those. Um, really, though, Tex Avery and his wolf, you know, the the wolf that's that uh, sees the girl and just goes crazy in love, his heart's bumping out of his chest his eyes bulge out of his head, you know, that crazy extreme. So when I do caricatures or portraits, um, I might go a little bit bigger on the eyes and try to express that or do, you know, make it a little more cute style. However, it doesn't, I haven't been able to make it look correct and still capture a likeness while I push a caricature. So that's one of the things that I'm working on. So I understand that I have a base in likeness and portraits. Um, however, I've come up with ways of how am I going to get to getting better? One is step is studying caricatures and what it is that they exaggerate. 
without losing, you know, the likeness of a character? What are the features that they decide to choose and how do they kind of stretch out and, and squash the face? And then I'm going to take it, then the next step after that will be copying off of their pieces and learning how to do it in 3D because doing caricatures on paper and in an actual sculpture are two very different things because there's a certain structure to sculpture and I am the other problem is that I'm so used to I know how to start a face because I start with the structure however when you do a caricature the skull isn't actually looking like a skull you have to make a stylized skull and base to start with because you know everything's stretched out and then taking the time and actually putting in the work of you know doing a portrait a day or a couple portraits and doing quick studies to where you're not spent I'm not going to spend so much time just perfecting a single piece and constantly you know I need to tweak this I need to tweak this I need to tweak this with what I learned is that the more clay that you push and the more pieces you work on, the better you get at it. So instead of spending five hours doing one piece, I would, I would much rather spend five hours doing like five or six pieces. You're just going to get the motion in that much more. And you know, you can always take it farther if it's something that you like, but just doing those types of quick studies is what's gonna help me to go after my North Star. You know, um, with me and trying to get better with mindset and with personal development, you know, there was a starting base and I have been, you know, growing myself in the way that I think over, you know, the last five, six years of, you know, reading books of from, you know, amazing athletes from Tony Robbins, from a lot, of, a lot of other great mentors to seeing more of courses, more of their events and really taking it in to actually not only just absorbing it and taking notes, but to also start putting those things into practice so that it's not just, it's not just knowledge that's in my head, but it's something that I'm actually putting out and creating habits around and that's what's going to help me to become my very best self so i hope that you guys have enjoyed this and that you guys have learned at least a little bit now again you don't have to go as deep and think about everything here this could be an exercise that you do with your family and you just have fun or this could be something that you actually want to use as a tool instead of writing or taking notes because doing something drawing or sculpting or doing something creative may actually trigger and help you to express something you might not have the words for. And on top of that, not only are you creating something, you're creating something with your own hands, but now you are going to have something that is going to, you know, you can look at and have a symbol. How many of you guys have a certain song to where it was a very special moment, whether it was your wedding song or a song they played at your dance or a song that a song that they played at somebody's funeral that, you know, every time you hear it, you just you just remember them. And it it makes you think of special memories and moments you had. This is something that can do that as well, especially because of the fact that it's visual it helps your visuals help you to remember things so much better than words. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this. I'm going to play a little bit with this. However, one of the things I wanted to show you is if you're doing it on the ground or if you are working on like a piece of wood or something and you pressed it down, that's going to, the purpose of doing that is so that it sticks to the board. However, trying to get it off is a little bit of a different story. So, if you have a piece that is like this and is actually stuck to the board, you're not, it's going to be tough and you're not really going to be able to pull it off. So, if you have a wire, 
that works great. If not, just grab like a palette knife or a knife, something with a straight flat edge. And I'm gonna zoom out just a little bit. What I'm going to do is lay this flat And then if you have one of these kind of stick it in and try to go around the edges and go slow a wire you can basically just put underneath and flatten it with this wood against this wood and just slide it down and then what's going to happen is now you would have cut a bunch of clay that was stuck to the board and you have a flat back if this is something that you would like to keep, if you would like to like hang on the wall, you can always cut this out, cut out a little notch or something to where it'll actually hang. And what you'll want to do is let this kind of sit and dry. When you let it sit, uh, this right here is air dry clay. So it's just regular water based. So all it's going to do is dry out and when it does this one is the white clay so it'll just look like this if you have a clay that you can get fired and you have a place to do that you can definitely do that with this air dry clay it dries it dries pretty solid however it is still fragile especially in smaller areas so just be careful of Things like this, like the point to the star or any small areas, just make sure that it's actually pressed up against it and that, you know, that you don't have any little areas that might break off. That's just something to be careful with. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this. I want you guys to have fun and just create. I'm going to clean up and play with a little bit more, especially this star. But I want you guys to create your own and do something that you enjoy. So go out there and be creative. Get creative.